what's up you guys it's Kaylee and welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel please make sure to like comment and subscribe down below and also make sure you turn on that little bell notification just so y'all can see updated whenever I post some more videos so I am super super excited I am about to go to hotspot hot pot um, it's in Fairfax Virginia it is the first hot pot restaurant I have ever been to before so it is all you can eat I believe it's about 26 to 30 dollars per person which is a little pricey but for all you can eat I think it's gonna be pretty worth it so if y'all are interested in just kind of seeing what this restaurant is all about please keep on watching guys so this is the restaurant it's by a whole bunch of other food places there's the bonchons right there i love bonchons but let's go in and see so here's the inside of the restaurant they have a full bar i will be sitting at the high top i don't want to get customers in it but it has like all of the food that they have on the walls so let's eat i chose to sit at the high top so i get my own specialized little place all right you guys so the servers are super super nice when you come in they're going to explain to you what the different broths are um i went ahead and got a soju flight which is alcohol i got the mango the leche the peach and the yogurt they always recommend that you try something with a milk base just because the hot pot is very acidic on your stomach so that helps to coat it um for the base i got the kimchi base they said that the kimchi base is like a medium spice level. Just got open. So I'm super excited. I will insert a clip of the um, of the menu just because it is digital because of COVID. So I'll just insert kind of like a screen grab of the whole menu. Um, and then you get to pick three of each of the different meat choices. Then you get to pick up to six of the add-on vegetable things or vegetable options. So I will definitely let y'all know what I get. All right, you guys, and the soju flight was just delivered. So this one right here is the yogurt mango leche and peach so i'm so excited to try this and see what it's like all right so the first one we're gonna do is the yogurt that is so good it's not densely creamy but it's like I don't even know how to explain it. Thinking about a smoothie, but a lot less thick. That's what it tastes like. Let's try the mango. All these taste really good. They're very sweet and they taste just like juice. Like you can barely taste the alcohol in them. Let's try the niche. the most like alcohol but it's still just very very sweet and very subtle and the taste of the fruit really comes out all right and this one is the peach all very very sweet it tastes like fruit con not even fruit concentrate just very very sweet fruit juice I have to say that my favorite is the yogurt. Just because it has that slight hint of creaminess to it. And as y'all can see, my soup is now bubbling. So I ordered the kimchi broth, so let's try it. broth is chicken base which I love because I prefer like in my ramen and things like that chicken base 
so that's that's good to go. All right, you guys, so my food was just delivered. I got an egg, I got some Napa cabbage, bok choy, carrots. Um, I got some anoki mushrooms over there as well. This is some prime ribeye. I got some frozen crawfish, some shrimp, as well as some mussels. Over here are some dumplings, as well as some ramen. And then right here is some marinated pork. So I'm so excited to eat this, you guys. It looks so good. And then around the corner, they have an amazing sauce bar for what you're gonna be dipping your food into. I am about to load up. So for my sauces, I went with their house hot sauce as well as house hot oil. And then in the one over here that looks a little bit lighter, it is their homemade sesame paste, cilantro, garlic, a little bit of soy sauce, as well as some of their hot chili oil. And of course you use this to dip your meats and vegetables in once they're done cooking. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in some of the things that need a while to cook. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop my egg in here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some carrots. Great, thank you. Let's go ahead and try. So it literally just takes a few seconds to cook. marinated pork.
melt in your mouth tender. I don't even know how they made that so tender. I'm not quite sure how to let long as like this egg cup. Maybe something? These dumplings are slippery. restaurant you can never say that your food is cold like <laughs> you can never say that
of y'all seen me try everything, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here. I might come back on if I order some like different foods and things like that. But for right now, I'm it. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and put in another order for meat. So I got the fatty ribeye as well as just the regular ribeye. The fatty one, of course, is the one that looks fattier. I didn't really care for that one as much as just the regular prime ribeye. So, I'm sorry, is it prime ribeye? No, prime ribeye. Um, but yes, overall it is delicious. And then once your broth starts to get low, they do refill it for you, which I think is awesome as well. So I also just put in another order for the raw shrimp, some baby octopus, and some raw scallops. They're, um, the fact that they have all of this is just absolutely amazing. Still plugging away at all of this. Now I'm going to drink those before I leave. But yes, y'all have to come check them out, you guys. All right, you guys, so I just finished eating at Hot Spot Hot Pot. Honestly, the food was absolutely amazing. The one thing or the few things that I wouldn't have gotten again would be the octopus and the fatty brisket or the fatty beef. It's one of the two, fatty brisket or fatty beef. But overall, everything was delicious. I am stuffed. They do have like a two hour limit. So once you come in, you have two hours to eat as much as you possibly can, which I feel like is a good amount of time. Um, it took me a while because I'm also filming stuff, but it was, it was a really great restaurant. The people were really nice. The manager was absolutely amazing. So I would definitely recommend coming if y'all are interested in hot pot. Whew, I'm out of breath because I'm full and I was just like power walking to the car because it's cold. But yeah, overall great experience. I loved the soju drinks. All of them were delicious. So if you want to try any of the soju drinks, I would 1000% recommend it. And for this restaurant, I would give it probably like an 8.5, 9 out of 10, just because the broth was just a little bland. Um, and then once your broth starts to run down, they just fill it back up with just plain chicken broth. So it's no more of like the kimchi broth that I got. So that would be my only thing was that the broth wasn't as flavorful or as spicy as I would want, but they have an amazing sauce bar. The staff is amazing. The scenery and the restaurant layout is great. So it's not too hot when you get in there. So I would definitely recommend it if y'all want to try hot pot. This is definitely an amazing place to come. Hot spot, hot pot in Fairfax, Virginia. It's about an hour and a half away from Richmond. But if you're not in Richmond, Virginia, then I'm not really sure how far away it would be for y'all. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys so much for y'all who stayed through the whole video. I hope this was kind of accurate for you guys to kind of see what hot pot is like and what the restaurant itself was like. So yeah, have a great night. I love you guys. Bye.